Previously on Two Up and Overloaded. We arrived in Kuching, East Malaysia, the city of cats. And the reason why it's called the city of cats is because it literally means cat. Kuching. Kuching. Yeah. <laughs> now why somebody would name it Kuching, uh, we, we are perplexed. <laughs> There's cat statues everywhere, cat totem poles, cat garbage cans. Yeah, I it, am not complaining that it's called no. after cats. I mean, cats are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and there's real life cats everywhere. And they're the cutest. Yeah. Like in the States and everywhere else we go, like cats are kind of skittish. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, like 90% of the cats here are very docile. They let you pet them. Yeah. Like 95 out of the 90% are pregnant, you know? <laughs> They also have uh, little gnarled tails. <laughs> what is this, huh? Not all the cats, but a good, I'd say 70% of them yeah. have crooked tails. It looks like they've been broken. They have not been broken, they're just bred yeah. like that. So of course, what do you do in the city of cats? You go to the cat museum. This is true. Even though like all the cities, there's one giant cat museum. But <laughs> <laughs> they kind of consolidated some of the best of the best, or some might think the worst of the worst, <laughs> all into one building. Cat Museum! But inside the Cat Museum, it's uh... Go say tacky, use it. Tacky, <laughs> it's tacky. corny, yep, kitschy. <laughs> It's like if you were at your grandma's house, like back in the 80s, and like the old china cabinets, you know? All the little figurines. Yes. That's what this museum, it took all the little love is cats from everybody's grandma and collected yeah. them all into one fancy museum. It's like the knickknack section of Goodwill yeah. that's just totally cat related. Like they all just, the cat knickknacks of all the Goodwills have been put into this museum. <laughs> really weird. And then they're like, and you know what cats eat? I am <laughs> cat, cat food. food. Here's a display. They had Hello Kitty. They yep. had Garfield. They had stuffed taxidermied cats, which, uh, yeah, they weren't the best taxidermy I'd ever seen. But they also had, besides. It was a catastrophe. <laughs> it's really gross. It made me not want to be stuffed after my, my taxidermy. <laughs> so, this little troll thing would come out of the come out of the wall and go up to the boy who was sleeping and start to like suck his life essence out of him oh, like they do in movies. Um, <laughs> and, but the cat would save him by <laughs> swatting the little scary dude away. They, my, my least favorite cat worldwide <laughs> is that golden in all the stores. wavy cat that's solar powered. You'd think it's just a Chinese store thing, but no, we have seen no. this cat from Mexico to Ushuaia. Peru to South Africa to Tanzania. <laughs> Every place in the world is one of these waving cats. Yes. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> My dad had one at his house. <laughs> Boo. Poor taste. So besides Aya, Ibu, and some other friends that we had met around Kuching, we had also met a really great friend, Azali Z, who we called Lee. Yeah. And he is awesome. He rides motor scooters, and he wanted to show us around some of the, the city that he really enjoyed. Exactly. And he wanted to take us to a very, very special place that he knew of. Hey everyone, so we are at a restaurant today with our good friend Azili Z. That's him going back there to the buffet line with Tim. We are having a breakfast of all sorts of different things. It is so international here. They have food from India, from China, Malay food as well. And we are going to have a mixture. We're going to be having some bread from India. And then Tim's over at the line for biryani rice, which should also be delicious. And what am I going to get? Oh my gosh, I don't know. We'll see. So after a lovely breakfast, we hopped into his car and headed to one of the more unusual places of the region. A reserve that houses huge, dangerous beasts that are responsible for more wildlife deaths in Malaysia than any other creature. 
Hey everyone, nice to have you here. We are Tim and Marissa No Tear. I ride in the front and I'm in the rear. We travel the world and we pack too much gear. Oh, all the places, places we'll, we'll go. go through rain and through sleet and through mud and through snow. Oh, all the, the things, things we'll see. see. We've been to a country or two or three. Oh, all the, the fun, fun we've, we've had. had. You have you along would make us real glad. So give us a like and, and hit subscribe to join us along our epic ride. It's like, what was that kid's movie that you never saw? Uh, little Monsters. Leave your comments in the comments below. <laughs> so we went to Jong's? Crocodile farm? That's correct. This place had an impressive array of crocodiles, reptiles, all sorts of creatures. And it was more like a crocodile zoo. Yes. Farm is loose. Farm is loose. They weren't milking them. They don't sell the meat or anything. They Maybe do, they do, I they lied. Do they breed. do milk them. <laughs> They breed them and sell them. Yeah. <laughs> they milk them. <laughs> Crocodile milk. Yeah. That's what all That's those witches brews need. This is true. <laughs> Crocodiles are the most dangerous animal in Malaysia. They account for more deaths than boars and even all the poisonous snake deaths, of which there are quite a few every single year. Since 2000 to 2020, there have been 164 attacks in the state of Sarawak alone, nearly half of which were fatal. And crocodiles in general are huge. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, crocodiles hold the record for the heaviest reptiles on the planet today, reaching up to 1,200 kilograms. That's 2,645 pounds, around the same as two small cars. This is true. And speaking of world records, our, uh, our buddies Lavi and Ali, they're awesome. They are traveling around the world to break the record for the youngest couple. On a motorcycle. On a, one motorcycle. To go around up the world. Around the world. So check them out. They're awesome. We love yes. them to death. We are too old. We were going to do it. <laughs> but then we found out that they were doing it and we're like, man, stole our thunder. <laughs> I think they would have broken our record anyway. Yeah, I think there's <laughs> We're pretty slow. half the world could break our record. <laughs> so they had lots of other animals besides crocodiles at Zhang's crocodile farm. Oh yeah, they had turtles. Yeah. Flat turtles. And unflat turtles. And un <laughs> unflattened. Spiky turtles. Spiky turtles. <laughs> They had little monkeys that were really oh, cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, and goats. I mean, you have to oh, have goats. goats. <laughs> I love goats. They're so nice. They're nice to have. I yes. bought one. <laughs> Sorry, I went somewhere, but now I'm back. They also had all sorts of different types of crocodiles. I mean, we think of this one generic type of crocodile as being the crocodile, but there's like these long skinny nose oh, ones. Yeah. There's scary all demon ones. eyed ones. They're yes. just, yeah, crocodiles are scary. They also had crocodiles from all over the world. So they even had the American crocodile. But it turns out that the crocodile of this region, of Southeast Asia, South Asia, and Australia, is the most deadly and largest crocodile on Earth. It is the Crocodilus porosus. Some crocodiles at Jung's Crocodile Farm were this giant type of crocodile. And there's even a legend of one of these crocodiles. Simalungun was a fierce Iban warrior of the region of Sri Aman. He was infamous for killing countless enemies during headhunting trips. But one day, 
his enemies exacted their revenge on Sima Lungun, and after killing him, they let his body drift in the river. Soon after, a wise shaman had a dream that Sima Lungun's spirit was restless. And so the shaman asked the ancient Iban gods to transform Sima Lungun into a huge white-backed crocodile that was bent on revenge. The crocodile believed to be Sima Lungun's spirit was named Bujang Senang. Bujang Senang is the name of one of the most notorious man-eating crocodiles of Sarawak. It's not known how many people were attacked or eaten by Bujang Senang. But since 1941, this 19 foot, three inch saltwater crocodile attacked 14 people and ate 13 of them. His first major kill was a chieftain, Bangan Anakpali of Rumahpali Longhouse. Bangan's friends actually saw this attack happen in the river right in front of them. Bujang Senang's final victim was in 1992, an Iban woman, Dayang Anakbayang, who was heading along the river to work in the paddy fields and was attacked and drowned right in front of her mother and brother. Then in May of that year, a group of police snipers and Iban hunters managed to shoot and kill the crocodile. He was reported to have weighed over a ton. Bujang Senang is the fourth largest recorded crocodile in the world, and his massive skull is seen today at Jung's crocodile farm. And for some reason, they like pay tribute to this skull. There's a bunch of like yeah. money that's uh, scattered yeah. on. And I don't know why, but yeah, I think it is some appeasement to the crocodile and to other crocodiles. Even today, Ayo was telling us that the Iban people do not hunt or kill or eat crocodiles. And that is kind of like an agreement yeah. between the people and the crocodiles. Like, we don't hunt you, so you don't hunt us. That's my philosophy everywhere we go. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of crocodile encounters between man and nature, right? Like we saw something Bear Grylls wouldn't even do. Like, I know. It was crazy. These guys apparently you have to like water your crocs once a day. <laughs> There's two dudes, maybe it was three, like 10 minutes before we saw them. <laughs> but they're in this cage with the hose. They're cleaning the cage, but they're watering the croc, making them happy, spraying water in his mouth on his face. It was crazy. And this was the largest crocodile that they had at Jung's Crocodile Farm. Yeah. He was in this huge enclosure by himself, except for these two people. And there was no barrier between them. No. There was no fence between them. They were just they in hose, there. Though. Everyone yeah. knows crocodiles <laughs> hate water. So if you're getting attacked, you just kind of put your thumb over the hose. Yeah, he was pretty happy with all that water being yeah, sprayed on But that's on. a job I would, I don't, those men nope. did not get paid enough. No. <laughs> that was, yeah. I was just, I'm like, I'm filming this and this might end up on like TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> so after our little crocodile adventure, Lee had another little surprise for us, which was really cool. Semongo Wildlife Center. And this is a huge forested reserve where there's lots of wildlife protected in this area. So if we were lucky, hopefully we'd be able to see something there. Ooh. So we got tickets. We went in this little Golf train cart. bus thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it took us deep into the forest. And then when the trolley thing stopped, there we got a, out and there was a crowd of people. Sea of people. There was something in the forest. We knew they had to all be looking at something. But that will all be in the next episode, including a not so great surprise. Basically, they're not sure if I have a broken bone or not. Ooh. This is as far back as it bends, whereas this one goes like that. From what they could tell, it seemed like it's not healing. And that could require surgery. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. And uh, if you are out there for the holiday season shopping down for something for your, your motorcycle loving 
husband, wife, best friend, son, daughter. We do have some links below that we have we have two up and overloaded shirts that we're sporting. We have written some books, which is really nice. Yeah, check out the link below. Maybe a stocking stuffer or two to uh, help spread the the joy of traveling the world with the one you love. Aww. So check that out at the description below, and we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. It is the Crocodilus porosus. More like the crocodile makes me paralysis. <laughs> Too far, cut that one out. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Don't put that in, people. Unsubscribe. I'm a place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good.